to study with Malsha YouTube channel. So my dear kids, today's lesson is about errors you do when you type. So what kind of errors you do? Normally you type wrong spellings. Sometimes you may do grammar mistakes also. And other times you won't do errors. But Microsoft Word will detect your word as wrong. Now let's check how to correct all of these three types of errors. Here I have typed a document, but you can see some words are underlined with red and blue lines. Remember my kids, red lines shows that you have done a spelling mistake and the blue lines are for grammar mistakes. Okay, so let's go and correct them. First, I should go to the Revive tab. Then, inside the proofing group, I should select Spelling and Grammar. So, you can see the editor pane will appear on the right side of my document. So, here you can check all the errors as well as the correct spellings and grammar for each wrong word. So, I am going to correct this word. As you can see, here they have given me several suggested words. I will select this one among them. Okay, my first word has been corrected now. Automatically, they will take me to the second word. So, like this, I will correct the second error too. Okay, my kids, so this is the way you can correct all of your spelling and grammar mistakes. Sometimes, even though your word is correct, Microsoft Word will detect it as wrong. That's because Microsoft Word cannot identify it in the dictionary. So, here you have three main ways to correct those kind of errors. Let's try this word. As the first option, they have given you ignore once. Here, your word will be corrected only one time. Second option is ignore all. So here we can correct all the wrong words at once. Last one is add to dictionary. So if you do so, this error will never happen again. There is another way you can try to correct your errors manually. Select the word you need and right click on the word. And here you should choose the proper word as you prefer. So, do you know how to change the grammar and spelling settings? I guess no. Then here's a new point for you to note down. Go to File tab, then click on the Options. Now, find out this Proofing tab. Here, you can change the settings of Spelling and Grammar. Ok, so I hope now we all know how to get rid of these errors when you type. So my dear friends, I hope this part is very clear for you. So, I'll see you with another new video soon. Thank you very much.